All right, we're going to be using Wix.com. Now, the first thing that you have to do when you get to Wix.com is you're going to have to set up an account. What I want you to use and listen carefully to avoid issues, use your school-issued email and use your school-issued password. So many times I've had this where students don't listen to me on this and they create it with their personal web, uh, personal email and then they forget the password. And they've already done half their website, but they can't log in and they have to start again, right? So do it easily. You know your email, you know your school issued password, do that. So I'm gonna sign in up here on the, right, on the top right um, and I'm gonna create a new account. Now I'm hoping that it lets me because it didn't let me earlier. All right, so you put in your, your email, you put in your password a couple times to make sure you did it all right, and then you hit sign up. All right, when you hit sign up, it's gonna take you to choosing your template. Now, these are the different categories that you could choose. It really doesn't matter which one you choose now because when you go to choose the templates, you could always go back and go to another category. So for now, I'm just gonna choose the designer. So when I choose designer, I need you to click on start with Wix editor. So we're gonna go here. The, these are the different websites that are for design, right? So you can scroll through them, and as you're scrolling through them, you see at the bottom that there's more pages. So let's go to the second page, and on the second page, there's more and more choices. And then you go to the third page. This is what I mean by go through it. Find the one that already kind of looks like what you like. And if you want, you could go to photography here on the left and change the category. And there are photography ones. You could do business ones. You know, look, give it a couple minutes, real estate ones. You know, it's up to you and um, and what you choose. So let's go to, let's go back to photography and let's choose one of these. All right, so I'm scrolling. No, nothing sounds good to me. Nothing yet. Uh, let me see. Let me see which one. So you scroll. If you find something that already looks like what you want, then choose that one. All right. You know what? I don't like any of these. They all suck. So let's go somewhere else. Let's go to design. All right. So you go to design. So when you go to design, you go through it. Let's go to the second page. You go through it. You know what? I'm going to choose this one at the top. This one right here. Now, when you click on it, it gives you these two options, view it or edit it. When you click edit, what it's doing is making a copy of it the way it is and giving it to you. So you click on edit. Now, when I click on the edit button, it's going to take a copy of it. See, now it says, welcome to the Wix editor, and we're going to get out of there, though. All right, now this is your copy. The first thing you need to do, though, is to make it your copy is to save it. So you go up here where it says save, and you click save. Now, it's going to ask you um, what is going to be the name of your website. I want you to call it your last name and your period. Last name, period. So how would I name it right now if it was mine? Carbajal, Carbajal, and we'll put PR2, all right? That way I know for sure who is this, and you hit save and continue, all right? When you hit save and continue, what it does is now it's made a copy, and it's made it yours. Now, if I hit, um, if I hit uh, publish, now I'm making it public where anybody could see it. So I hit publish, now, and it's done. It's ready to go. Now, here's the thing. Um... The URL that you're going to share with me, I mean, that's the address of the website, needs to be the published URL, not this one. You see how long this one is? This is your editor uh, URL. This is only for you. If you send me this link, I won't be able to see it because this link basically says it's your website for you to modify. Since it's not mine, the one you're sending me, I won't be able to do that. The one that you send is this one right here, the published one. All right, and you see it right here. Now we're going to click on it. It's going to send it over there. Oh, crap. All right. Let's try it again. Of course. All right. Basically, it'll take it. It'll take you to the to the to the website. It's just our our firewall sucks. All right. So you chose a template. You made it yours. You hit save and you hit publish. That's the first thing you got to do. All right. Everybody understand that? All right. Let me turn this video off.